Golden Globes are now in the history books for another year, and no one is in an uproar like they were the same time last year. With Ricky Gervais' <laughs> host for the third straight year, the show came off without a hitch last night. Joining us from Miami is music and media consultant Bruno Del Granado. And let's start with the host, Bruno. How did Ricky Gervais do? Toned down? Too toned down? What do you think? Hi, Paula. Ricky was a little bit toned down. There was so much hype that he was going to be, was going to be dropping bombs all over the place. And, you know, it was a little bit too much. Uh, we, the expectations were a little bit too much to live to. Uh, he started the show with this little simple line said, you know, so where were we, which was his line from, from last year. So uh, I think everybody really expected him to be really crude and nasty, but he really wasn't that much this year. There were a few F-bombs, and he did take a good swipe at Justin Bieber, took a good swipe at Jodie Foster, too, but maybe a little toned down from uh, from last year. But he's, he's pretty good. Obviously, NBC likes the controversy over there. Also, a little bit of controversy surrounding Madonna and Elton John last night. Well, certainly, uh, Madonna, certainly, like just like Rodney Dangerfield, got no respect going into the award show. Everybody really wrote her off, saying she wasn't going to win. Elton John on the telecast said she was certainly not going to win the best song. And lo and behold, she won. And it's actually a beautiful song written by her, co-written by her, produced by William Orbit, who's been one of her greatest accomplishments as a producer for her. And um, she really looked good. She was really happy to be there. I mean, her her promotional tour has started. We, start, we saw it last week with Nightline and Good Morning America. She's going to be on the Super Bowl next month. And, she, you know, her, her media blitz is in full effect. Now, the great thing about Madonna was that she presented the best foreign picture uh, after her winning an award. And it went to Iran. First time Iran has ever won a Golden Globe. The, the movie's called The Separation. Beautiful, beautiful movie. And it's going to be interesting to see what the newspapers in Tehran say tomorrow about the Golden Globes handing out Iran the best foreign picture and Madonna being the person handing the award. Yeah, that award comes at an interesting time, certainly with the two relations between our country and, and theirs. So. Yeah, no, no surprise that Modern Family, which is uh, right here on ABC, uh, won Best Television Series, been credited for bringing sitcoms back. Great show. Yeah, yeah. back to TV. Yeah. And you know, I, third time was the charm for, for Modern Family because uh, the show was shut out twice, two years in a row by Glee. Luckily, this time they won. It is the best sitcom on TV by far. Great ensemble acting, tremendous writing. And Sofia Vergara right now is the queen of, of sitcom TV. She basically ruled the night throughout the show. The, the camera's constantly panned uh, to her table. We can she, see why. <laughs> tremendous, tremendous acceptance speech in, in Spanglish or bilingual with Steve Levitin. And it, every single, every other commercial break was Sofia Vergara hawking Diet Pepsi. It was truly yep. her night. It really was. I have to focus. I really didn't pay too much attention to the speech, Bruno. I'm not going to lie. When she's on what stage, were you paying I, I was to? a little focused on, on uh, <laughs> the Golden Globes. Uh, but uh, <laughs> literally, the Golden Globes. Literally, I'm just saying. Uh, also, the artists too. They had a great night. Great night for that movie. And George Clooney. He was another uh, star of the night as well. Well, the artists, uh, going into the nominations, they had six, so it, it led the field with nominations. It walked away with three. Funny for an, a, a silent movie made by a Frenchman about Hollywood uh, to be uh, uh, so successful, and everybody's saying this is going to be the movie to, to certainly uh, uh, clean up at the Oscars, won three awards, three of the biggest ones of the evening, including Best Picture for Musical or, or Comedy. Uh, they're saying this is going to be a very, very strong contender for Best Picture of the Year at the the Oscars and Clooney what can we say about him he is the king of Hollywood not only is he a tremendous tremendously talented actor but he's a movie star he can green light any movie that he wants he had two nominations going in today for best picture uh, Ides of March and Descendants Descendants won he had four nominations two of anyone walked away with two best picture and best actor there's no bigger actor than George Clooney right now and did you think The Descendants was that good is this a real strong contender possibly for best picture as well as getting such rave reviews Yes, The Descendants is another one that's a very strong contender for Best Picture, uh, as well as Moneyball, which is done by his b b friend Brad Pitt. George has two very strong movies going into the Oscar season, uh, Ides of March and The Descendants. The funny thing is, Rob, that both movies have grossed, uh, earned only $65 million at the box office, which is not a lot of money wow. uh, in today's market. But, you know, Clooney can't do anything wrong right now. He is the Midas touch. Absolutely good. It must be a nice life for Mr. Clooney, huh? Mm -hmm. Bruno, as always, we thank you. Appreciate your insight, man. Thanks, Rob. Have a good one. Enjoy that cold weather in Miami. We'll be right back.